Hi, I'm Kath, and this is the fifth installment of my RSD story, uh, subtitled The Jaw Dislocation. I'm here today with little Goober. He is back there um, because he wants to be in shot. And who am I to deny such a cute little guy what he wants? So he's here. Um, hopefully he'll be quiet. He promised me he would be paid. Um, when I left off last time, I just had my hip operated on and I couldn't do much of anything at all. Um, so I was stuck in a wheelchair and um, completely dependent on um, my lovely boyfriend to take care of me. Um, so it did get better after the hip operation. Um, about three or four weeks later, I was able to go out to dinner, although I did have to sit on a lot of cushions in the restaurant, which is, you know, always pretty classy, but, you know, you've got to get out of the house sometimes, you just, you can't just, you know, not leave at all. So, um, it started to get better and I was able to give up the wheelchair and get around on my crutches again. Um, <clears throat> slowly it kind of got to the point where um, I could, I wouldn't quite know which leg to favour because the hip on the left side and the foot with the RSC on the right side would kind of compete a little so I'd be crutching along for a few metres on the left side and then crutching along on the right side and left side or doing the old uh, you know four-legged look opposite crutch to leg you go very slowly like that let me tell you it's no fun um, so that was good. It seemed like my hip was going to get better. It all seemed to be going well. Um, and then in late June, early July last year, um, I feels weird saying last year. But anyway, I um, went to the dentist for the first time in quite some time because we can be bothered with the dentist when you have all this other medical crap to deal with. I have pretty good teeth, I'd never had a filling. Um, so I went and it turned out that I needed three fillings. So I guess my brushing skills must have lapsed somewhere or perhaps that just is normal. Um, so I went, oh, 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 and I had also grown wisdom teeth. Yes, I got wiser, three times wiser actually. I don't know why I didn't get four times wiser, but um, I only got three times wiser. So... The dentist said, all right, well, these little buggers have got to come out. They're just going to rot. They're far too far back for you to brush them properly. And I'm like, I wondered about that because I'd been trying to brush back there and this isn't relevant to my RSD story too much. So I went back to the dentist and I got my first feeling um, watching a DVD because the dentist had these cool goggles and you put them on and it has a screen and you have headphones on and you can watch a DVD while they go around in your mouth. Um, so that was kind of fun and a little painful because all those injections hurt. Um, but, you know, it was just a dentist. And then a week later, I was eating cereal, um, as you do around breakfast time. It's pretty, pretty, pretty normal behaviour. Um, and I bit into my cereal and I got a really, really, really sharp pain through my jaw. Um, this guy. And I couldn't keep eating. I'm like, what, what the hell is going on now? What, what's wrong with my jaw? I was chewing. I wasn't, you know, opening to have it sort of pop out. I mean, um, that jaw has clicked for a long time, but not painful. Um, just, you know, regular clicky jaw. Uh, so it hurt. And um, over the course of the day, it slowly got worse and worse and worse. And... Um, by that evening, I was starting to get a bit worried about it, and I went into the mirror, and I had a look at my jaw, and um, it looked like this. Yes, I looked like a kangaroo with a twisty jaw. See, his jaw kind of he kind of goes like that when he when he chews. He he did have a problem with his jaw. They're not all that twisty, um, but. We, we called him, we nicknamed him Twisty, it says so on the back. Um, so I looked in the mirror and I kind of looked like this instead of 
like this. So I freaked out a little and uh, we packed up and went down to the emergency room, um, which was fun. We sat around, waited for a while, and then the doctor just, if you, like, they gave me a shot for the pain, which was great. I don't even know what it was, but it helped, and it really helped my hip <laughs> that was really sore at the time. And um, so the doctor kind of put his thumbs in my mouth like that and um, pushed down. That's great fun. So you, you, your jaw naturally kind of resists against it, but um, he's kind of pushing it back in. So he had to actually push my jaw back down and sort of move it across into the socket where it's supposed to be. Um, so that hurt, but I did feel better once he did it and he x-rayed it and made sure it was, you know, looking fine and it was looking fine, so okay. So we came home and over the next couple of weeks that was horrible. I had to see a jaw surgeon and um, he didn't think that there was anything wrong with it, which thank God because he needed more surgery. And um, I, what else did I do? No, I only saw the one guy. And I, sleeping, I couldn't lie flat, like it must sort of push your jaw forward to lie flat. So I slept in this. Yes. This is really comfortable. Do you know how wonderful this is? I had it under my chin note dish. You went about. And I was propped up on pillows. And I just kind of slept like this. No fun. The car was especially painful. If I had to go anywhere, which I don't often, but you know, sometimes I do leave my little concrete cubby house. Um, it hurt like crazy because the vibrations in the car, like they set off my RSD anyway. The car is just not a good place to me. Um, and I have to wear this in the car. Which actually is not so bad. It's kind of comfortable. Yeah, that, that part wasn't, that part wasn't as bad. The other part that was worse. So, um, yeah, it took a it took a while. It took like a month or two for that to settle down for me to. It took oh, it only took a couple of weeks for me to stop sleeping in the neck brace. Um, but yeah, over the next couple of months, I would still get a sore jaw quite often. Um, I had to be careful. I could only eat sort of soft foods. There was no hardcore chewing going on for me, and I would get pains. I would get pains in this jaw, like the joint, and then I would get pains to the front here on this side, like not back in the joint. So. I didn't quite understand it. It was also um, around this time that my doctor thought we should run some more tests because um, maybe I had some sort of rheumatoid condition causing inflammation that was then causing these other problems because they were all kind of related to inflammation and, you know, maybe it wasn't RSD because um, technically RSD apparently doesn't spread, but we all know that that's not the case. Um, so, yeah, nice new pain source in my jaw there. That was great fun. Um, that's probably um, about the end of my chapter on jaw dislocation last year. Um, there's one more step in my RSD story in which it decides to spread to my hand. Um, nice little cherry on top. So I will be back soon to tell you about that and um, next week I'm going in for a ketamine infusion so hopefully that is going to give me some relief and maybe help me get a bit of my life back.